people. like that every Sunday. We never got <laughs> I took my little nephew, Frank, to the toy land. <laughs> He's a cute kid. He has an open-toed head. <laughs> a wonderful gag. I wanted to try it. Of course, that makes a straight line out of the punchline here. First time I've ever seen a question, the answer is hop the punchline. <laughs> and are the kids tough down there in Toyland? Are they tough? <laughs> I want to get this whole thing off my mind before I continue. I saw I saw a couple of kids dragging a sack around. I said, Why don't you go to see Santa Claus? They said, Who do you think we got in the bag? <laughs> Hey, say, Bill, come here. What's the matter, Bob? Need help? <laughs> that fit. No, I just got here too early, that's all. But, Bill, I saw you shopping yesterday. You were in the fur department. What were you doing? Buying a fur coat for your girl? Oh, no, not in that place, Bob. You see, I have a test for fur. You have a test for furs? What is it? Oh, yes. Well, I go into a fur store and I set a white mouse free. Wait a minute. You set a white mouse free? Well, sure. If nothing catches it, I talk business. <laughs> Follow the other gag. Say, did you get a load of that floor walker in that department store? Yeah, wasn't he pretty? Tell me, Bob. <laughs> what were you and he arguing about? Well, I asked him if he could help me find some yarn, and he said he couldn't since he was in laundry. Yes. I said, laundry, what do you think I'm in, muslin? <laughs> well, listen, Bubbles, you got to see that. <laughs> Sure, Bill. I saw Santa Claus. He yeah. smiled at me, then he winked and said, I never thought you'd get away from that audience in Pittsburgh. <laughs> By the way, Bob, are you giving me something this year? Why, yes. Now, last year it was gloves, wasn't it? Yes. Well, yes. this year I think I'll just repeat that. Gee, you mean I'm getting the other one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I had to meet you before I knew that a man could buy one cufflink. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, what an old card wouldn't give for dialogue like that. <laughs> Well, anyway, Bill, good old Christmas will soon be here, I think. Yes, Bob. Have a cigar? Have a cigar. Are you a little drunk or a proud father? Oh, no, no, Bob. I just want you to try one. I tried one on my uncle before, but it really wasn't a fair test. He had a weak heart. <laughs> Bill, you've been awful fresh since Phil Harris showed you how to do your hair. <laughs> well, it's not that, Bob. I'm just worried. I still don't know what to get Maisie for Christmas. Are you still going around with that life boy success story? <laughs> uh, she's not bad, Bob. <laughs> she's just the down-to-earth type. Listen, if she was any more down-to-earth, she'd creep. <laughs> Say, I saw Skinny shopping with his girlfriend. You know, Bob, the, the fat one? Boy, is she fat. Fat. She's so fat, no matter where she sits in the theater, she's on the aisle. <laughs> Well, you know, for a fat girl, she has a lot of poise. I, I noticed her hands, for instance. They were so calm and still. <laughs> yeah, that comes from milking cows. <laughs> it does? Yeah, she's milked so many cows, she's got contented hands. <laughs> but I should run down his girl. How about that shoplifter of yours? Shoplifter? Now, listen, just because a few little <laughs> things happen to catch on my girl's clothes, that doesn't make her a shoplifter. <laughs> oh, no. Well, why, she was, well, why was she wearing that combination bustle and iron claw machine? <laughs> Well, she doesn't want to meet Orson Welles unprepared. <laughs>
And now Bob Hope brings you his version of that popular song, Santa Claus. Now Bob Hope brings you his version of that popular song, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Say, Bob. Yes. Bob. Yes, Bill. What are you looking so sad about? Oh, the whole world looks black to me. Oh, did you give points against him, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I certainly lost plenty. Well, Bob, you've got to do something to make some money fast. And listen, I know how you can make a fortune in a couple of days. No use, Bill. My doodle bug is broken. <laughs> no, no, That's Bob. It's you find gold with, you know. <laughs> no, Bob, I don't mean you should go digging for gold. I, I don't think you should do I that. Gotta there be are... careful of this audience. <laughs> blackboard here tonight. <laughs> Take it. Bob, I don't really think you should go digging for gold. There are other ways to get rich, you know. Investments, big business. Maybe we could open our own movie studio. You remind me of Mayor LaGuardia. <laughs> you do. <laughs> well, what kind of business do you want to fail in this week? Well, <laughs> well, this week I'd like to get into something unusual, something that will attract attention, Bill. Bob, don't tell me you're going to put on your one-piece bathing suit again. <laughs> I think I'll open up a shop to sell Christmas presents. Some kind of Christmas presents people always buy. I've got it. I'll sell ties. I can start by selling the one I'm wearing. Oh, no, Bob. You can't make much money selling one tie. Oh, no. Saturday afternoon, they sold one to 103,000 people. <laughs> Tuesday night, we have a big flag. <laughs> uh, that helps a little. Anyway... <laughs> This is the time of year everybody's getting toys for the children. I think I'll start manufacturing them. The first thing I do, I'll put out dolls. Well, that'll be a switch. You putting a doll out. <laughs> and anyway, you know, I could make rattles. Yeah, you certainly could, but I got the head for it. Well... <laughs> Hesitation take. <laughs> Bill, I've got a great idea for a wonderful toy. It's a little box. And in it is a little man that always pops up at the most unexpected moments with the angriest expression on his face. Oh, Bob, that's a jack-in-the-box. No, Bill, that's a sponsor. But I'm going in... <laughs> I'm going in the toy business. I'll sell thousands of roller skates. Everybody will know my roller skates. They'll be on the tip of their tongues. That ain't the way I heard it, Johnny. <laughs> Very sly stuff. Wait a minute, Bill. I just thought of something. We'll need a little money to get this toy factory started. Well, you can borrow it from the government. Now, Bill, I wouldn't think of borrowing money from the government. Oh, don't like poor people, eh? <laughs> no, Bill, I've got my own plan for opening this toy factory. I'll borrow the money from Skinny Ennis. Skinny, where did he get money? Ripley pays him to keep undercover. <laughs> well, he couldn't have picked a better program. I... <laughs> Up high, he's working like that. I can see the, uh, I can see the toy factory now. Bob Hope, prop. Skinny Ennis, prop, 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 prop. Yeah, one on each side of him, holding him up. You see? <laughs> In no time at all, I'll have that toy shop going full blast. <laughs> factory, we nail them, you mail them. Listen, Mr. Holt, this is Mrs. Brown. I bought a package of toys for my son, and the darts are missing. Are you sure you put them in? I can't find them. You can't find the darts? Wait, I'll look for them here. <laughs> Say, Skin, come over here. What do you think of the toy shop? How do you like working for me? Well, Bob... But you better take me out of the Deanna Durbin doll department. I better take you out of the Deanna Dar uh, the, the, the doll uh, the thing. Are oh, you take it right out of there? <laughs> well, let's get it all. Uh, the Deanna doll do, 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 do. Why skin? Shucks, man, those dolls are driving me crazy. I've been in love with five of them and gays to two of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, skin, let's get some work done around here. Wrap up this fireplace and send it to Hetty Lamar. Man, what does Hetty Lamar want with a fireplace? Well, this one blazes right back at her. <laughs> Hello, Bob Hope's Dollies of 1939. Mr. Hope, this mm -hmm. is Mrs. Smith. Smith. Uh, we bought some of your electric trains last week, and my husband tried to fix one of them. He tried to fix one of the electric trains? Yes. Ever since he plugged it in, he's been on his hands and knees in front of it, and that was three days ago. Three days ago? Well, do you think anything's wrong? Well, I don't know, but every time a streetcar goes by, his eyes light up. <laughs> Where's my 
my secretary, Miss Sludge. Coming, coming. <laughs> Miss Sludge. <laughs> Miss Sludge, take a letter. Take a letter, say, who do I look like, Jim Farley? <laughs> you would if you had a little more hair. Now, tell me... Uh, <laughs> Tell me, Sludgy, can you take shorthand? Oh, yeah, you just try it and I'll slap you silly. <laughs> That's also dirty. <laughs> That's a dirty gag, you know that? <laughs> now to get on with that letter, I just, I uh, hope you folks don't get it. I think I'll, uh... <laughs> Hey, bud. <laughs> now, uh, to get out with that letter, I think I'll dictate. Huh? I said I think I'll dictate. Dictate. Well, you got the chin for it. <laughs> you know, boss, I got a complaint. That Skinny Ennis keeps annoying me. You mean just because Skinny keeps kidding you why he's only pulling your leg? I know, but it keeps coming off. <laughs> You're kind of cute. I'd like to take you over to Catalina Island. Can you swim? Yeah, but not that far. <laughs> and say, you ought to tend to business. What will I do with all these bills that just came in? Oh, pay them at once, of course. Here's the money. Hmm, you can tell this is only a radio program. <laughs> Excuse me. Kid, I'm a little worried about... <laughs> I'm a little worried about our sales. Now, how have the games been selling this year? Not so good. Some goon called up about a game we ain't got in stock. Mm -hmm. Some game called Post Office, so I... Uh... <laughs> oh, operator, operator, I was disconnected. <laughs> hey, Bob, I got in more trouble. I was blowing up one of those bubble pipes and it backfired. Well, what's so bad about that, Skinny? Man, every time I heat up, I give myself a bubble bath. <laughs> Forget that. Tell me, how are things with the Didy dolls? Oh, things are pretty much the same with the Dottie dolls. No change. <laughs> hey, Mr. Hope. Yes, what is it? Listen, I'm Jones, the foreman in... <laughs> Listen, Mr. Hope. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hope. It's just three doors down. <laughs> go there. I want to talk to you. Well, I wish you'd go there first. <laughs> I want to talk to you, Mr. Hope. Well, if you can talk in that condition, okay. Go <laughs> I mean, we might as well go all the way. Listen, I'm Jones, the foreman. Foreman in the... I, 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 no. I, I'm Jones, the foreman <laughs> in the department where wait, we I'll, make... I'll, wait, I'll loosen your straight jacket for you. <laughs> go right ahead, kid. You sleep with boxing gloves. Go ahead, it's all right. Listen, I'm Jones. The foreman. I'm going to quit, Mr. Hope. It's okay, you're not helping me any. I ain't ahead, doing John. myself no good either. I'm Jones. Yeah. break like this on the air, you know. <laughs> Look, you're Jones, I know. <laughs> Look, I... <laughs> Look, I'm the foreman in the department where we make them little brown bears, see? Oh, now, <laughs> I'm on the conveyor belt, and all day long, them little brown bears go by. Brown bears, brown bears, brown bears. <laughs> character, you can get your own program. The hell with me. Listen, I gotta quit. I gotta get out, understand? Why? Why, you've watched thousands of those little brown bears go by. Why have you gotta quit now? Well, today at 3.30, a white one come along. <laughs> Oh, 
from now on, you're Mr. Jones. <laughs> oh, we get a quick start working on a switch for the brown bears for next week. Hurry up. Get the hey, door. Bob. What's the door? Oh, yeah, that's in there. Hiya, skin. Be listen. When I print this, I want to tell you something now. You are following dynamite. <laughs> Step in and be happy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Bob. Oh, dear, that. Let's just throw it away, huh? Go ahead. Over to Republican headquarters. What well, do Republicans want to check this for, Bob? They're planning to make a move in 1940. <laughs> Hello? Hope's Toy Factory charge accounts for all. Do Dad with our doodads. Mr. Hope? Yes? You're awful dirty out there tonight. <laughs> it's a very cute little gag. Do dad with our do dad. <laughs> Let's not have that undercurrent of tittering. <laughs> well, they were, Tom. They just kept snickering back in there. <laughs> Everything is. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Mr. Holmes, have you got a finger there to find us? Have we a finger? Get the smelling salt. <laughs> is this Holmes toy factory? Who is this, Miss Jones? <laughs> What'd you say? Yes. Well, have you got a sailor there that winds up? Yes, yes. Yes, we have a sailor that winds up. Well, tell him to wind up over my house. <laughs> Come on, Skin. Stop loafing on the job. I ain't loafing, Bob. I've been over to the doll department examining the doll house. Say, Skin, there's been something I've been wanting to ask you about those doll houses. How do they look from the inside? Say, I, uh... <laughs> well, I see you finally got... I see you finally got that Mickey Mouse all blown up. Just, man, I gave that up. This is there's my lungs. <laughs> Say, fellas. Oh. <laughs> this is Sister Jones. Yes. <laughs> what can I do for you, man? Uh, sir. What is it, kid? Listen, do you have one of those toy bears that talks way down deep and gruff in his throat? Yes. Do you want to buy one? Oh, goodness, no. I just want to find out how he does it. <laughs> well, Miss Flush? This toy train, a Republican just wanted to buy it, and the electric engine hissed at him. Gee, must, must run on Washington, D.C. current. Gee whiz, what stuff you got here? That's the finish of the gag. You've got some awful stuff here, you know that, don't you? Yes. I brought a rubber crocodile home to my nephew, and gee, it's too realistic. What do you mean? Well, every time he puts it in the bathtub, Johnny Weissmuller dives in through the window with a knife between his teeth. Well, if you don't like the way I run things here, you can get out and get another job as a secretary. What, I should quit now just after I broke in your knee? <laughs> well, stay if you want to, but don't be fresh for the customers. I think I've got a monkey working for me, not a human. So it's monkeys to humans I am, eh? Comes the evolution, it'll be different, believe me. Hello, Bob. Will somebody wait on me? Well, Bill Goodwin, Miss Sludge here will take care of you. Here, wait on this customer, Sludge. Well, well, if it ain't fungus face. <laughs> Say, uh, miss, I want to buy a toy embroidery set. Okay, how old is the child? What child? This is for me. <laughs> for you. Listen, Rosebud, why don't you go home and press a flower? <laughs> Listen, Abe, I don't want any trouble with you. How about a date tonight? A date? Say, are you trying to pick me up? Well, I... Uh, okay, uh... you talk me into it. <laughs> with Miss Sludge? All right, so I ain't need. <laughs> Hello, Hope's Toys. Hello. This is one of the four daughters, remember? Now we're the four wives. And, and would you send over some tiny garments? Well, well, tiny garments. How soon will you need them? Tomorrow. 
We're joining the floor show at Earl Carroll's. <laughs> Gosh, things are piling up. Hey, Skin. Yeah, I'm boss. Say, how'd you get into my private office so fast? I thought the door was locked. Chuck's man, the door was locked, but the keyhole was open. <laughs> I'm going to quit rushing around like this. Now, look, Skinny, if you stay with me, I'll reward you by taking you to see a movie tonight, The Cat and the Canary. The Cat and the, cat and the Canary. Eat cat every night the same thing. <laughs> Uh, young man. Yes, sir. Welcome to the toy factory. What can I do for you? I represent your sponsor, and I'd like a dozen sets of building blocks, and a dozen teddy bears, and a dozen rattles. What's the occasion? What's the occasion? The kitty party? Oh, no, Mr. Hope. You know Christmas is coming, and I just wanted to get a little something for your writers. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Come in and bring your brat with you. Uh, uh, come on, Yardley. Say hello to the nice man. Ah, nuts. Yardley. Yardley, darling. Say hello. I'll beat your brains out. Ah, nuts. <laughs> He's a nice little monster, isn't he? <laughs> He'll probably, he'll probably grow up to be a leader someday. This, kill, this guy kills me tonight. I don't know. He'll probably grow up to be a leader someday of the black hand. Ah, nuts! <laughs> Yardley, every time you say that, every time you say it, I'm going to take a dime out of your bank. Ah, nuts! <laughs> there. Isn't he awful? I can't do a thing with him. I can. Here's a dollar. Let him shoot the words. <laughs> ah, nuts! <laughs> hey, Bob. No punch is still as funny. Where are we? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hey, have you got the list of those kids you want toy trains for Christmas? Oh, the kids that want toy trains? Yes, I got the list right here. Want me to read it? Yeah. Well, there's Wallace Beery, Victor McLaglin, Boris Karloff, Clark Gable, Gary Cooper. What about you, Bob? What you want? Well, there's Madeline Carroll, Ann Sheridan, Dorothy Lamora, <laughs> Lana Turner, or Free Pastor Earl Carroll. Calling Mr. Hope. Calling Mr. Hope. <laughs> this is the foreman in the baby carriage department. Man Mountain Dean is shopping down here, and we're doing everything to please him. Now he insists on wheeling a baby carriage up and down Hollywood Boulevard. Well, what are you so mad about? What am I so mad about? I'm in it. <laughs> hey, Bob, I was just thinking, while I'm working here, I ought to get some stuff from a girlfriend. That fat girlfriend of your skin? Boy, is she fat. She sure is, Bob. I never realized until last night when we were standing in front of the fireplace and helped her pitch her stocking. <laughs> but she... <laughs> She's a swell kid. You know, uh, little girls are made of spice and everything nice. If your girls are made of spice, they must have drained the West Indies. <laughs> Say... <laughs> doing a hell of a sketch here, don't you think? They're <laughs> doing it good, too. Okay. Uh, are you the proprietor? Well, speak up, young man. Speak up. Uh, <laughs> uh, last week, I bought a toy for my son in your store. Are you... <laughs> Say, did you always talk like that? Oh, no, no. And let me tell you something. Don't ever look down when you're opening a jack-in-the-box. Mister, mister. Oh, why, hello, little girl. What, who are you? My name is Virginia. And my little girl friends tell me there isn't any Santa Claus. Virginia, your little friends are wrong. There is a Santa Claus. Wow! Well, I clean up. I got ten to one. <laughs> Oh, hello. Mr. Hope. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Say, listen, I'm just the cutest little fella that you've ever seen. My nose is always red, my clothes are always green. But though my face is funny and I work for St. Nicholas, compared to me, Hope, you look ridiculous. <laughs> Say, who is this? Oh, I'm just a lonely little elf sitting on a shelf all by myself. <laughs> you outside watching the reindeer? In California, there isn't any, darling. <laughs> oh, how you do? Well, 
Mrs. Frontenac's side saddle. <laughs> Say, with that searching... <laughs> with that searching look in your eye, I suppose you're after a toy, or am I mispronouncing it? <laughs> Be careful, or I'll cut your yo yo string. <laughs> Something else for you folks to work on. <laughs> After the show, let's all go to the main street, huh? I think we'd enjoy it after this. But where are we? <laughs> and I'll be right in there where you cut my yo yo. <laughs> well, <laughs> come on, folks, let's get back to the last hour. <laughs> minutes left here. Well, Frenchy, I'm glad you drooped in. <laughs> oh, you have a charming little shop here. Tell me, is this big, beautiful factory really yours? Well, once a week I wrestle a man from the finance company for it. What can I, what, what can I do for you, Frenchy? Uh, uh, there's up one of those toy giraffes. All right, would you like a long neck? Oh, you dear boy, do you think we have time? <laughs> Filthy. It just sounds that way now. You know, this stuff isn't dirty. It just sounds that way now. Everything is just being misinterpreted. The whole... You know how when you go to those parties, everything sounds like that. Do you have a scotch and... So... No, we're not there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You know, I, I think I'd like to look around a bit. Uh, is this uh, Christmas candy really old-fashioned? Is it really old-fashioned? Do you remember the main... Not. Well, that candy does. Oh, I must bring some home to my husband. Oh, I tell you the glad tidings, I'm married again. Again? How many times does this make, Peggy? Oh, oh this is the fifth come next relief check. <laughs> you'll, you'll never believe who I married until you see him. Oh, here comes my husband now. <laughs> up, Sandra. Up, Blitzes. <laughs> Ah, greedy, Dickie. This little chicky married good old St. Nicky. <laughs> Those white whiskers. Are you really Santa Claus or does somebody fight Norson Wells? Ah, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm Santa Claus and not a creature to stirring. I've been his louse. <laughs> I'm your wife. Oh, yes. Gate, allow me to present this little bit of lavender and old face. <laughs> so she's your wife, Santa Claus. Ah, yes. This is Santa Anita. <laughs> well, I'm charmed. Uh, the feeling is paramutual. <laughs> Santa Anita, tell me, where's your $2 window? <laughs> well, this isn't it. <laughs> and do this for my last program on the air. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Where are we here? <laughs> Isn't that awful? Isn't that awful? Well, Where you know, uh, you know Robert Hope, dear. He's associated with Easter. Well, uh, how did you ever happen to meet your wife, Santa? Kate, one day I got a, a new ship in a frame deer, and what was I going to do? Throw that one out? <laughs> I see you've got quite a few reindeer out there. Ah, yes. Dancer, Prancer, Donna, Blitzen, and Shapiro. <laughs> Shapiro, how did he get... How did, <laughs> how did he get in there? 
He said, right on it. <laughs> you know, you know, all this excitement during the holiday season. <laughs> That word, uh, no. Oh, shut it down. <laughs> oh, my God. They'll take it dirty. <laughs> oh, you don't know what's coming. <laughs> Let's not do it. Let's jump to the finish. Oh, no. Oh, they're dirty minded here tonight. Let's not. <laughs> I've got to say, you know, all this excitement during the holiday season reminds me of the first time I was kissed by a man. Come, come, dear. No hard luck stories, please. <laughs> you must be very fond of your wife, Professor. I am indeed. I am going to have a teeth filled with iron and throw magnetic mines at her. <laughs> How can you say that? Don't you ever kiss your wife? Ah, yes. Non-habit forming, isn't it? <laughs> I was telling her this morning she looks aristocratic. She looks as if her, uh, she were born with a brass rail under her foot. Oh, don't listen. Oh, Mr. Holmes, don't listen to Mop Mush. <laughs> His mind is as soggy as a bartender's shoe. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can't you two talk nicely <laughs> to each other? Would you read that line for me? Yes, but who would laugh? Well, I'm glad you came. <clears throat> I'm glad you came here to get your toys. How about an erector set? Oh, we've got an erector set. <laughs> You have got an erector set? Oh, well, I'll play like a straight. Yes, what do you think is holding her up? Well, I never expected to see Santa Claus. There ain't no Santa Claus, I tell you. There ain't no Santa Claus. Hey, where did you come from? UCLA. <laughs> Well, tell me some more of your interesting experience as Santa Claus, Professor. All right, Dave. Never shall I forget the time I got stuck in the chimney for three days, and then the people who lived in the house built a fire in the fireplace. What happened? I invented the sitting hot foot. <laughs> well, you must be pretty busy during December, but how do you spend the other 11 months of the year? Trying to get a ticket to the Rose Bowl. <laughs> well, Professor, you should be checking on Christmas. It may be ahead of time. Why don't you call Washington and ask for someone there, Mr. Wallace, Mr. Ickes? Mr. Ickes? Mr.? Egad, but these jitterbugs are getting high tone. <laughs> However, I will phone Washington. Hand me that phone. Hello, White House? This is Santa. What's that? What? Right away? All right, goodbye. What'd they say, Professor? Don't ask questions, Kate. Get busy. Lower up my sleigh with firecrackers. With firecrackers? Yes, Kate, firecrackers. This year, December 25th, is the 4th of July. <laughs> Thanks for the memory. Our friends both are near. It's Tuesday. We appear by courtesy of you folks who've been lending us an ear. I'm looking in here, too. Thank you so much. And thanks for the memory of Judy Garland's flair for song beyond compare. Your every tune's a sweet perfume that permeates the air. Oh, thank you so much. And remember, folks, Pepsodent's gentle in matters pertaining to dental. Make your holiday smiles ornamental. Put cheer in them with good O'Leary'em. Next week, we'll all be back as usual with Judy Garland, Skinny Innocence Band, our six hits in the mist, Jerry Colonna, and Bob Hope. Thank you, Bill Goodman.